Now, knobs are a very simple sort of object. How much could they really possibly change when you now have mass production 3D printing and print on demand available to produce them? Well, the answer might surprise you because you can create a knob that has never existed before because you can create geometries that never existed before. So today we're gonna go through around how to design cabinet knobs. Now, cabinet knobs have been around for a really long time. As long as there has been something that you've wanted to grab, we have made handles and knobs to make grabbing of it easier. And there have been many ways of producing these. People have twisted steel, they have injection molded stuff, they have sculpted balls of clay. Basically, all you need for a knob is some object that a person can get their hand around and a hole in the bottom. It's really not that complicated. Now, when we're designing knobs, of course, designing all that basic functionality is really easy. You make the thing and you put a hole in the bottom. Done. But there are some subtleties here. Since you're doing 3D printing, you can now actually input threads into the bottom of it so that you no longer have to deal with additional processes like tapping it or assembling threads into it. So that can be a lot easier than it was before so that now instead of having to make a knob and then make all the post-processing components to finish the knob, the knob can just come off and then you throw it in a bag with a screw and now you're done. That whole assembly is finished. So 3D printing can be a lot more efficient. And since you're using 3D printing, complex geometries become become very simple to where things that would have to have a very custom process built around them just kind of appear and you don't have to worry about it. But what's really interesting is that throughout the world, there are thousands of knobs that have been created, many for different applications, many for different aesthetics. And these are kind of expensive to have created. If you think that there might be 100,000 to a million knobs out there, even this most simple kind of cylindrical one has a mold that will cost somewhere between 500 to $5,000, depending on how long you want that mold to last. So if you have a million of these out there, you've spent almost a billion to five billion dollars creating all the molds for all these knobs in the world. All those molds are now obsolete because this knob appeared without any molding costs at all. So the fact that knobs are so high mix and so high variance lends themselves very substantially to 3D printing. Because instead of having to create a knob, create a mold, and then produce a thousand of those knobs that are stored, you can instead just design the knob. And then you upload the file, and then when somebody wants it, they can order it, and the part appears. Nothing is ever needed until somebody actually orders the item. So you eliminate all those millions of dollars of upfront cost creating the molds for all of these, and then all the long-term waste of having to store them. Because again, they're made in a warehouse where the shelves make the product. And this lets you chase down designs. Physical products now become as plot as actual digital products. You can update your website to a new color, you can update a knob to a new color. You can create a new variation of it so that a whole new customer segment opens up. Whereas before it would take millions of dollars of molds to create all these variations of cabinet knobs, you can now just design cabinet knobs, have an AI help you out, do all these basic things. But you're still designing knobs. 3D printing hasn't really enabled anything except around the business model. But how does it change the engineering? Now, on this channel, we usually focus on high-level concepts and ideas for designing 3D printed products, not the technical details of how to design in CAD. But if you're looking to learn how to create your own designs inside of CAD, we highly recommend the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives, offering thousands of classes on everything from illustration to 3D modeling to photography, so that you can learn how to create your own designs and figuring out how to sell them to customers who really love them. One class I've been loving is Introduction to 3D Printing, an easy start to your first 3D design. It's perfect for beginners, teaching you how to model a print-ready object with free online tools. No prior experience required. Skillshare's on-demand platform lets you learn at your own pace and start creating right away. The first 500 clicks on my link down in the description will get their first month free of Skillshare. So go ahead and click that link and start designing your own custom 3D printed products, like these knobs. So let me tell you a story about this knob. This is a knob for a very simple oven. You need to select the location that you want on the oven. What heat do you want it set to? These knobs break all the time because some people like to use their ovens for an extended period of time. Now here's the challenge. Historically, if you wanted to make this knob, you would have to make a knob with a hole in the back of it for each variation of that oven. One that has a shaft an eighth inch big and one that has a shaft 3 16 and then D-slot and then round and then toothed and so on. You have to create a bunch of variations in order to fit all of the variations of ovens out there. And you can't know them all until customers tell you. But 3D printing lets you create a universal knob. 
So if you look at the bottom of this, that is not a standard hole. While it adds basically no cost to the actual production cost of this knob, you have a very complex mechanism that's down there. This is called a compliant mechanism. It is basically two halves that are pressed together with leaf springs that are able to press onto whatever size rod you want. And since they are semi-square, they are able to fit onto D shafts and tooth shafts, and they're able to grip it and adjust to the size very easily. This geometry is impossible to make because these springs, even though they're all part of the same part, are actually cut free to where they flex inside of there. That has never been possible to manufacture before unless you wanted to stack together a bunch of layers, which if you're stacking together layers, why not use actual additive manufacturing that's designed to stack stuff together in layers? So this knob, you're now able to not only create many variations of shapes, but you're able to create more robust mechanisms because you're able to embed mechanisms into these knobs themselves basically for free so that you can create something that works everywhere really reliably. So now we have an oven knob that will work on every oven and we don't have to know what the size, shape, or style of the shaft is because we're able to build in a system into the part itself that prints with the part is a part of the part that will readjust itself to wherever it's being used. So looking at this, knobs seem like a simple thing, something where you just say, oh, let's make some knobs and let's keep on making them the way they are. But now with mass production printing and print on demand, these become actually phenomenally exciting. You can make every variation of knob that anybody would ever want, still keep them in control, and build them on universal standards that are now possible. So you both create a new business model where you can have a store with infinite selection of cabinets knobs, but zero inventory, because none of these have to be made until somebody buys them, and you can create variations that never existed before. So now you have a competitive advantage over anybody else who just wants to upload their past models of knobs that they've been making for the last hundred years. They have to recreate these, which gives you a whole new edge, whereas a traditional knob can most certainly be manufactured, and if you're a knob manufacturer, reach out to us. We can get all your past defunct inventory back into production. But if you want to invent something new, there's some cool stuff that you can do. 3D printing lets you create new business models and also lets you create new engineering solutions that were never possible before, but are possible now. They're faster, they're greener, they offer more selection to your customers, and they offer a better experience. Because this technology gives you new capabilities that just simply don't exist. You can upload a model for free and sell a knob tomorrow. Whereas before, you had to spend thousands to millions of dollars creating all the tooling and all the factories to produce these things. Now you just upload them and they exist. That's pretty cool. Have a great day, everybody.